Well, I made it out to the rock. It's probably quite noisy, but looking at this upper fall, this lower fall, there's a couple of little things coming in from the side over here. And right now, F11, about a 13th of a second, a little underexposed, but that's because we've got, if we look here, This is pretty bright white. And because of how bright that is, you need to underexpose everything else. I'll be able to pull the shadows back up out of that, but you can see a little zebra stripe going on there um, as the sun tries to come back out through the clouds. So let's speed this up a little bit. We're at about 50 millimeters. We are focused at about 10 meters, but you can see through the focus peaking that pretty much everything is in focus. Test shot real quick, just a tiny bit blown out there, but I think that's okay. Because everything else is in focus as far as that, you know, as far as the focus is concerned. That's what I'm happy with. I can deal with that little blown out. I can just wait for the clouds to subside like they just have. Do that again. No blowout. So, two second timer. We're at F14, 1 13th of a second. Two second timer. Take that shot. And that looks pretty good. Um, let's rotate this around just a little bit. Bring that upper fall more towards the third line. That'll just bring more of this dark green into the corner to try to get it kind of balanced. Sun's coming back out again. Put it at F16. Fifteenth of a second. Take that shot. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the polarizer, turn the polarizer, let's turn focus peaking off. By turning that off we get rid of all that green stuff and I'll be able to see a little better what the polarizer is doing. It probably won't do much because the sun is pretty much overhead. And as I rotate it around, you can see there's really not much of a change going on to the scene. So we're just going to leave it where it is, we're not going to get any polarization. For, good polar, for the polarization to really work, it really needs a 90 degree angle to the scene and the sun pretty much is right overhead. So there's no angle at all, so the polarization really isn't going to work. But you can see all the zebra stripes in the water, a little bit of cloud coming over. I'm going to wait till that gets to one or one third underexposed, take that shot, and now nothing is exposed, overexposed. Looking good. Now what I want to do is let's get a vertical shot. We've got the landscape. Let's get the portrait. So rotate the camera. Let's check the pocket, make sure we're still in scene. Rotate that just a bit. Let's take this out so we get more of the overall scene in. So F16. Turn focus peaking back on so that we can verify focus. Oh yeah, focus looks great. 
See, if I take it down to half a meter, which means it's focusing real close to the camera, everything's out of focus and all that focus peaking, the green stuff goes away. But as I extend it out, you can see the line here. That's at about three meters, that's at about five meters, that's at about 10 meters, between 10 and infinity. So somewhere between five and seven. At F16, everything will be in focus. You can see this rock in the foreground here is already really in focus, and you can see everything else is in focus. Let's turn that focus peaking back off. Two second time run. Let's take this shot. Oh, we've got some stuff blown out. So we'll wait for the sun to go away. There are some clouds overhead, so we'll see. Wait for them to come in. I do need to hurry up a little bit. Jared Wilson is here along with me. He's helping do some filming, but he's doing his own stuff. I'll put a link in the description below to his YouTube channel, his Instagram, all that good stuff. Let's get this level, shall we? That's better. And then let's angle this down a little bit. Get more of that rock in, because this may, uh, I wanna, I'm gonna have to crop out this bright sky overhead. I'm not a fan of that. Come on, sun. Come on, clouds. this sun that's going on out here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it uh, a try with uh, some filters so I've got the case three stop magnetic filter here let's put that on and what that's going to do is allow me to show down my, slow down my shutter speed three stops it's going to allow the shutter speed to be a little slower and we're going to get the falls just a little streakier the way I like them because now instead of at a 15th of a second we're at one two 2.5 of a second try that again I guess the sun's not going away. But I don't see anything blowing out there. We'll take that sideways. Yeah. A little too white though still. A little too white. A little loss of detail. I need the sun to go away so I can get some detail in those falls. Looks like there's just the tiniest bit of cloud coming, so I'm gonna take this filter back off. Leave the polarizer on there. One twentieth of a second right now. But as soon as that cloud comes in, we're gonna be able to slow it down a little bit, not have it so contrasty. That's the problem with the sun is look how bright the water is and look how dark everything else is. I don't want such contrast. Here comes the cloud, finally. It's getting a little dimmer. I'm not too worried about the sky blowing out up there because I'm gonna deal with that in post probably crop this down to 4x5 maybe a square I'm not sure getting some better images now that there's some cloud and I think that's it for McLeod quickly put on the 70 to 200 we're gonna put this in All right I put on the 70 to 200 now we're going to see what we can do by getting some detail shots of these falls spin this around make sure we're still level This up. We're currently at about 135 or so. And we 
are way overblown. That looks all right. It's 1 50th of a second though. So let's take three stop, put a three stop on, slow that down. We'll have the same exposure with the three stop, but now we're at one sixth of a second instead of one fiftieth of a second. out to about 100 and see about getting a little bit more of those lower falls in. Lower it down, spin it around. How are we doing? You guys seasick yet? Do that. That looks all right. Detail shot. Let's just focus on those lower poles. Break that down, spin around. Zoom in just a little bit. And let's get let's get this stuff over here on the on the right. We'll see how that looks once we get it on the computer. here at the falls really would like to thank you for coming in and watching this video if you've liked it if you've learned some stuff give it a thumbs up please if you enjoyed the content and you want to watch more make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe button down below yep if you would like to support me financially there are links to patreon and then also a link to my website and my store where you can purchase images if you've seen an image here or elsewhere, like on Instagram, that you like, but it's not in the store, then send me an email, photos at jameselum.com, and I will be more than happy to put it in the store. But again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.